Hey YouTube friends, Audio Olympian here bringing the sound and video to you today. Today's video, really quick you guys, just wanted to cover a topic here. As I stand here in front of my Sony OLED, playing the 4K digital version of Lord of the Rings. One of the big debates that has been out there and for quite some time now is, is 4K worth it over Blu-ray? So that's something we're gonna get into here in a second. If this is your first time visiting our channel, we want to thank you. We'd love to see you back. So if you hit that subscribe button and then kick that bell notification that lets you know when we push another video out to the tube. So to answer the question here really quick, is it worth it moving and putting the extra money in going up from Blu-ray to 4K? A couple of things I want to cover on that first. One, I think the biggest, one of the biggest reasons is why would you do it? What are you doing it for? Me personally, I did it for a couple of reasons, a few reasons actually. One, I knew the 4K version was gonna look a little bit better. It's kind of still grainy, if you if you saw in the pictures here, in the, or the videos here. And again, you wanna make sure you're gonna check it out for yourself. It's gonna look totally different on whatever device and equipment that you have versus what you're watching here. YouTube video is gonna compress it, okay? Um, so, I knew it was gonna uh, look a little bit better. I would put this in the same class of a, of a 4K transfer as uh, War of the Worlds, uh, the Tom Cruise version of that movie. To the 4K one that was just released a few months back here. Um, yeah, kind of grainy still. Cleaner, you know, um, a better image, but still not that high, high quality 4K picture quality that we get from movies that come out in 4k these are transfers so it's always going to be a little bit downgraded so i knew it was going to look a little bit better so not drastically but the other reason i did it was i wanted the digital downloads so that way i could watch it on all my devices on my apple tv devices and two i wanted to get the new atmos sound so better image Digital downloads, better sound. For me, yes, that was worth putting in the extra $150 for this disc set. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about uh, the cost and what I got here with the box set. So this is one of the big determining factors, whether or not somebody's going to make a jump from the Blu-ray version up to 4K versions on um, previous movies that you already have. Um, so it is a big factor there. So for myself, I wanted to get it on the release date. And in my area, the Best Buy that is here, our local Best Buy, the only version they were getting to um, that was going to be released on December 3rd, the actual release date, was the box set version. Now this was $150, like $153, something like that with tax. I wasn't particularly excited about spending that for the 4K version um, of the movie here. Being one, I do have it in Blu-ray. And actually, I have it in DVD and Blu-ray and now 4K. So I have all three of those uh, in my collection now. However, um, I know there is like an $89 version out there. The, again, my local Best Buy wasn't um, getting that version. So this was the only one, at least on release day. I could have got that version and had it shipped to me. I think it would have came sometime this week. But I wanted it right away. I was waiting for this one. So I went ahead and opted for the box set. So going a little bit over what's in here, it's really cool too. It's got a nice box book looking uh, cover. It is hard case. On the inside is really cool here. It came with its own ring, which I'll show that a little closer here. Hopefully that's not too blurry. It does have some Elvish scribe there on the ring. Uh, I'm not able to read it, but I don't need to. <laughs> and then this whole case comes out. This actually has a little felt bag that you could put your ring into, which is really cool because I'm a huge fan of movie memorabilia for a lot of different things, a lot of different movies. So that comes out. And then inside here, you're going to have your discs in the case here, just like your normal one. And I believe this is what would come with the $89 version. I believe it's just this and the disc. So 
So open the case up right here and you got your digital download movie codes here and then nine discs here, which is uh, the theatrical version, the 4K version. So part one, part two and part three. Then you have your um, extended version, which I believe is two discs for each one of those. So the extended version is on two separate discs. So if you're gonna watch it, um, you have to use both discs to watch if you're gonna use the hard copy. Okay, so uh, that's the nine discs. So you get the, theatric, the theatrical version, 4K, and then you get the extended version, 4K, um, but each one of those are going to be two discs. So that's why you got nine discs in here. Okay, so now we're going to go over some clips here. And I chose just to do um, Return of the King. And the reason for Return of the King was because that was the last of the movies that came out of the trilogy. And even if you were to go back and watch the Blu-ray or even the original DVD set, that movie did look a lot better than Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers. Because by the time that third um, movie of the trilogy came out, technology had really advanced. Um, CG was becoming a lot more better, cleaner, and updated. So when Return of the King came out, that movie in, it, in and of itself looked better than the other two versions. So I decided to do that one instead of the other two. Okay, this is the Return of the King 4K disc uh, on my Oppo player with my Sony OLED AAH. Now this is uh, still the same TV, but now the digital copy with my Apple TV on iTunes. Now uh, this is Lord of the Rings Return of the King Blu-ray disc. Uh, still using the 4K player though. Now let's talk about picture quality. As I said, it was a bit of a, a grainy transfer. However, it still is very, very good quality and uh, high 4K resolution. Uh, but the biggest thing that I wanted to address here is the quality of the digital, the 4K digital copy. 
man, that was remarkable. It is so, so close to the actual disc copy that I'm, for me, I'm probably going to watch more of the digital one versus my um, disc, my hard disc, uh, unless I'm going to watch in my theater room where, you know, I have my projector, then I usually always put disc on in there. Um, but for watching around the house and the other areas where I got my Apple TV, that 4K digital copy is amazing. The sound is amazing. I think you're going to be very, very happy and um, pleased with the uh, results of that. If you're more of the digital person than the, than the hard disk uh, individual. So, and that I like is very encouraging because that means the digital copies from here on out for all the movies, they're getting better. They're getting really, really close to that disc quality content there. Um, and then of course the disc, you may not have been able to see it here on the TV and, and through the video here, but the disc is just so sharp, so detailed. And again, the sound is incredible. And there is a difference in sound, mostly uh, off of just decibel from the digital copy sound versus the disc sound. And you'll notice that if you have the disc and then you're using it back and forth in your system, digital copy versus the disc, you'll notice the differences there. But um, the high quality of the disc and the sound of it, again, makes it worth it for me. May not be for you, but I was really um, excited and pleased with the quality of the copies that we got there. Again, it's very debatable. Is it worth it going from Blu-ray to 4K? Again, I would have to say it really depends on why you are doing it. And if you're doing it for more than one reason, if you're going to do it for more than picture quality, because not all the transfers are going to be really, really high quality picture quality. Okay. Um, we already know that and it's probably going to get better and better as time goes on. But if you're going to only do it for that reason, then I would say, no, it probably is not going to be worth putting in any extra amount of money um, to get the 4K version of whatever movie you wanted. But if you're actually going to do it for more than one reason, like I said, picture quality, sound, digital codes, and I have the disc um, in the event anything happens. So it really depends. on For me, it was worth it. Now, would it also be worth it if I just got the $89 version? Absolutely. In fact, that value would have been more, higher value, I, I would say, um, at a cheaper cost to get all the same things that I originally wanted. However, uh, I do like movie memorabilia, so I am glad I got the box set. I am willing to pay an extra 40, 50 bucks for that there to add into my collection for movie memorabilia. So that was actually worth it for me after I opened the package up after the fact. So again, that was another bonus there for me. So that's my take on it, you guys. Uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop them down in there below. Uh, I'd like to try to respond to everybody's comments. We want to thank you. We really appreciate everybody's support. And we'll see you guys on the next video.